my first year at under 20s probably didn't go as well as I'd hoped. So I played in the first two games and then was, was dropped after that. The Junior World Cup that year, there was an injury or two and managed to kind of get involved through that. So it was a tough first year and then managed to get lucky enough to get a crack at it the second year, which was fortunately we weren't successful in winning anything, but it was, as I was talking about, a massive learning curve. And I mean, it's contributed massively to kind of where I'm at now. It was a little bit of a shock. I didn't really know what to expect. And you know, when it's such a high standard, you're training and playing with all the best guys in the country at your age, but what it does is it, it raises your level as well. I think we were either told verbally or got an email, one came before the other, I'm not too sure, but I was pretty surprised at the time. I missed out on kind of getting an academy contract, so I was a little bit disappointed from that. It was also my first summer playing Leinster 20s, so didn't really expect to be involved because it was a year young, and then Mike Ruddock at the time sent an email through or gave a call, I was pretty uh, surprised, a little bit scared as well because I just didn't expect it at all. It was a yeah, special feeling. Talent is someone like Gary who's confirmed it. Um, I think there's a lot of guys with a lot of potential, but you need to confirm that potential. My role is, is to coach the under-20 side. The challenges are certainly very varied and very interesting. We're currently in the midst of, uh, of the Six Nations, and I suppose the biggest challenge that we've found to date has been just some inconsistencies, and we are making mistakes, but I suppose that's part of the process as well and, uh, and part of, of the players learning from that. I think there's a great support structure in place now for the players, both from a medical and admin, a support uh, full stop. You know, I think it's important for the players to, to realise they're still developing and you need to support them, but you also need to give them the room to grow. You need them to give them the room to make mistakes, you've almost got to embrace those. You've got to, to realise that this is a key part of the learning process for them. And you know, you can't suffocate them with support either. It is really important that we allow them the opportunity to grow and to develop and to learn from their mistakes in, uh, in the right way. When I'm studying um, business and law in UCD at the moment, so it presents kind of certain challenges in the schedule and especially in the round exam time. The exams usually fall in line with the European uh, Lancer games, so it's pretty tough. But thankfully I have a um, support network from Lancer and they'd encourage it with Leo and, and the management would, would encourage everyone to sit exams and, and get through a degree as well as the support network in UCD. And unfortunately the rugby won't last forever um, as much as I'd love it to. Uh, so I kind of have to be ready for yeah, the life after rugby, so it's good to get a degree done. When you went under 20, what I've learned is pretty similar to what it's like when you go full professionally. Um, just probably didn't realise it at the time, but with all the medical team behind you, your exposure to, to top class coaching, it's a step up from leaving school and, and it kind of prepares you if you get the chance with the senior team and also we're pretty lucky here to have such a good network of support with the Irish 20s that's kind of backed up by the, the provinces.